Froggy Picks a Pumpkin by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Remikowitz. Froggy Picks a Pumpkin. At school, Froggy read a poster. Don't forget, trip to the pumpkin patch tomorrow. Pumpkin picking contest. Next morning, Froggy woke up and looked out the window. A beautiful pumpkin moon was setting and colorful leaves were falling. Leaves, leaves, cried Froggy. I want to go out and play in the, oops, he fell out of bed. Thump. Froggy, called his mother. What? Stop jumping off the bed, dear. Today is your field trip. Oh, yeah, cried Froggy. It's time to pick a pumpkin. And he hopped up and got dressed. Zip. Zoop, zup, zut, zut, zap. And flopped into the kitchen. Flop, 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 singing. Pumpkins, pumpkins, muffins and pie. Pumpkin faces lighting the sky. He ate his breakfast of cereal and flies. Munch, crunch, munch. And imagined a steamy pumpkin pie. Yum, and a whole line of jack-o'-lanterns outside lighting the sky. On the school bus, Froggy bounced in his seat, boing, 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 and led all his friends singing. Pumpkins, pumpkins, muffins, and pie, pumpkin faces lighting the sky. When they got to the pumpkin patch, he jumped off the bus, flop, 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 and sang, I'm going to pick a pumpkin, I'm going to pick a pumpkin. Froggy! called his teacher, Miss Witherspoon. What? Wait, dear. We're going to have a pumpkin picking contest for the biggest, smallest, prettiest, ugliest, and best all-round pumpkin. Yippee, cried Froggy, and he took off again, flop, 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 and tripped over a pumpkin, flew through the air, and knocked into another pumpkin. Bonk. Max bounced over three small pumpkins and tried to pick up a huge one. It didn't budge. Ugh. Travis said, step aside, and lifted it up. Matthew zigzagged around Max, Travis, and Froggy and picked up the prettiest pumpkin in the world. It was shiny and perfect and just the right size. Froggylina twirled and danced through the pumpkin patch, then squatted down and said, hello, my sweet and picked up a very small, very dark orange pumpkin and kissed it. Smooch! Froggy hopped up on a gigantic pumpkin and looked all around like a pirate on the bow of a ship and shouted, Ahoy there! And he leaped over Froggylina. He leapfrogged over Max. He leapfrogged over Matthew, flop, flop, splat, and fell smack across a real big pumpkin. He stood up and said, this is the one, and he tried to pick it up. He got it up to his knees, puff. He got it up to his chest, yes. Then he trudged along with his huge pumpkin, lug, lug, ugh. Froggy, called his mother's spoon, what? You're going the wrong way. Oops, said Froggy, and started huffing. Max yelled, last one in is a rotten egg. Everybody else ran with their pumpkins, and Travis rolled his big one. Rumble, rumble, rumble. When Froggy finally got there, he was too pooped to pop and tripped and smashed his pumpkin. Smoosh. Oops, cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Everybody laughed, even Miss Witherspoon. Then she said, and now for the winners of the pumpkin picking contest. For biggest, Travis. For smallest, Max. Max lifted his hat, and there atop his head was a pumpkin the size of a golf ball. For prettiest, Matthew, and for best all around, Frogalina. Hers is a pie pumpkin, great for baking. Frogalina said, hello, my sweet, and kissed it. Smooch. Then Miss Witherspoon said, and for the ugliest, yours, Froggy. What a mess. And everybody cheered. Hip, hip, hooray. Even Froggy.
And on the bus ride home, Froggy sang, Pumpkins, pumpkins, muffins, and pie. Pumpkin faces lighting the sky. And all his friends sang with him.